Hey fellow developers, today, I am going to show you how to make a mini-map for your game in Unity. The end result is going to be the map which we can see in the top right of our screen. If you find this video useful make sure to subscribe. To start off, I have a simple scene already set up in Unity. For the environment I am using, free RPG FPS game assets provided on the Asset Store. On the camera I have the simple camera controller script which is also available for free on the Asset Store. The links for both these assets are in the description. With the script attached I am able to freely navigate my scene in play mode. Now, let's get started with adding a mini map to this scene. For this we are going to need a few image assets. These are going to be, a border for the map, a marker for the enemy, a mask for the map to make it circular which is just a PNG of a circle. Next we need an image for the main player marker. The last image we need is of the top view of the map. We can render the whole map from the top instead of using an image, but this will be costly to render, as compared to a still image. To do this go to the scene tab, change view angle to top, and switch perspective to 2D. Disable gizmos and grids. Now just take a screenshot of the whole map using the screen capture key on your keyboard. Go to your preferred image editor. Just paste the image and crop it. You can create a custom map, such as the one I am making, if you want to. However a snapshot from the top is mostly sufficient for a mini map image. Once done, we simply need to import all the images to our project. Make sure to switch the image texture types to Sprite 2D and UI. Add the map image to your scene, then scale it and reposition it to roughly match the map. I have added both the normal map and the custom map images to the scene. I am going to rename the main camera to FPS Player Camera. Now let's add the mini map object to our scene. Create an empty game object and position it at zero, also set its rotation to zero, we will call this the mini map. Inside this empty game object we will add all of our game object related to mini map. Inside this, add another empty object called Camera Parent, also set its position and rotation to zero. Inside the Camera Parent, add a new Camera Game object. Position this camera so that it is pointing downwards and placed at some height from the map. Set the Camera Clear flags to Don't Clear. Now, we want this camera to only be able to see the mini map objects and not the whole scene. We also want the main camera to view everything, except the mini-map objects. This can be done by setting the culling mask of the camera object. For this create a new layer, which we are going to call mini-map objects. Set the layer of the map images to the mini-map objects layer we just created. And now in the main camera, Inside the culling mask drop down, select everything except the mini map layer. In your mini map camera set the culling mask to mini map layer and deselect everything else. And now as we can see, the mini map camera displays nothing but the mini map images, while the main camera displays everything except the map images. After this, set the projection of the mini map camera to orthographic. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the depth of mini map camera is higher than the depth of main camera. A camera with larger depth value has higher priority, 
and we want our minimap camera image to show on top of our main camera image. After this, let's adjust where the minimap is going to be shown on our screen, and how large we want it to be. For this change the X and Y of the viewport rectangle in your minimap camera. You can adjust the X value to move it right or left, and the Y value to move it up or down. Check on different resolutions to confirm that the minimap is where it needs to be. Now, just adjust the camera size value to set the preferred zoom of the minimap. I will just quickly clean up the hierarchy by placing all the minimap related game objects inside the minimap root object. Now as we can see, if we move the minimap camera, the map on our screen also moves. The next thing we want to do is make the map circular. This can be done using the circle sprite mask we added in our project earlier. Inside the minimap camera object, create a new empty game object. Add a sprite mask component to this empty game object. In the sprite mask component, assign the circle sprite. And now, change its layer to mini map objects. Go to your scene tab and make sure that, along X and Z axis, the mask is in the center of the camera. And along Y axis, it is a little below the camera so that it falls inside the camera's vision. Now, select your mini map images. In the sprite render component, find mask interaction and set it to visible inside mask. Go back to your sprite mask object and scale it up or down as needed. After this, add the border image inside the mini map camera game object. Again, center it at the X and Z of mini map camera and place it a little below the camera. Change its layer to mini map objects. And just scale it so that it is at the border of the circular map image. After this, add the player marker sprite in the same way. Its layer set to mini map objects and center it at the camera X and Z. Place it a little below the camera. Scale it as required. Finally, it's time to add code to make our mini map move. First, make sure that the mini map hierarchy is as shown in the video. Next, on the mini map camera parent, add a new script called follow transform. Open up the script. Create a public transform variable for the target transform and another public vector 3 variable to set an offset when following the target. In the update function, Simply set the position of this object to the position of the target object and add the offset. Back to Unity, assign the main camera as the target in this script. Our offset needs to be zero, so no need to change it. Let's run it. And as we can see the mini map moves with the player, however, there is no rotation of the player marker. For this, First add the player marker inside a parent object, which has global position and rotation set to zero. Add a new script to the player marker parent called follow y rotation. Open up the script and create a public transform variable for reference to the target object. Go to update function. Here, Simply set the X and Z Euler angles of current object to zero, and the Y Euler angle to the target's Y Euler angle. Back to Unity, assign the main camera as the target of this script. And now if we run the project, we can see that the player marker also rotates. If you want the whole mini-map to rotate, and the player marker to stay still, you can simply remove this script from player marker parent object and add it to the camera parent object. And just like that, we have a rotating mini map. The last thing I'm going to do is add enemy markers. For this, let's add a simple capsule to the scene, which is animated to move in a loop.
Next, add the enemy marker sprite in an empty game object. Again, make sure to set its position and rotation to zero. Also, make sure that the layer of the sprite object is mini map. And make the sprite point upwards. Set the mask interaction to visible inside mask. Scale it up or down appropriately. And finally attach the follow transform script to the enemy marker parent. In the offset of this script set the height that is the Y axis appropriately so that it will be between the camera and map sprite. And all done! Let's test our mini map! There we go! Everything is perfect! That's it for making a mini map for our Unity game. Make sure to like and subscribe for more useful Unity dev videos.